What's up guys, Christian Vegas 64 here. Today I'll be showing you how to make your own Ocarina of Time randomizer seeds on Android. People have been asking me a lot to do this, so I'll be doing it. It's very simple, but you need a modern phone and you need to use Google Chrome. Plus you need two gigabytes of RAM. Because if, if you don't, you might get errors while making the seed. Alright, so it's simple, so... Alright, so let's go to the main rules. Here you can, like, add the options you want in your seed. Like, for example, open Kakariko Gate, the Door of Time, and Zora's Fountain. Also, uh, Rainbow Bridge Requirements. There they are. And the logic rules, glitchless and no logic. I don't know what's no logic, but use glitchless just in case. Alright, shuffle. So this is where you shuffle like the main items in the game. Like for example, the Kokiri sword is shuffled is shuffled. The Ocarinas. Uh, the weird egg. Gerudo card if you want to randomize that but I recommend you not so just leave it like that also shuffle songs with items and the other options are scrub shuffle that's like um, the, the scrubs are randomized like what items they sell you there's also shop sanity and token sanity I haven't done that shuffle dungeon items logic um, I don't do anything in this um, option so just go skip to the other one all right speed up so you can like skip some like scenes like for example the tower scape child stealth I think that the yeah crawl space into Hyrule Castle goes straight to Zelda skipping the cards so yeah you can also turn that on you can turn anything on if you want also the opponent race but if you turn skip a Pona race, you kind of need a Pona song to get a Pona early. Alright, uh, this randomized Ocarina song notes, which randomizes the notes of all the Ocarina songs. Like, it adds new notes instead of, you know, the originals. Big Pug targets. You can add, like, one, one target only. And item pool, damage multiplier, and all that stuff. I'm just like doing this fast, just an example. You can also randomize the tunics, also the default target hold uh, option. And just hold and switch. I recommend you switch. You can also randomize the tunics, sword trail colors. Here's uh, the options. Navi colors and also the sound effects. You can randomize the background music, low health, horse, nightfall, hover boots, ocarina, and the menu. Menu. <laughs> the music is also randomized. NPCs. Um, for more easier, you can just press randomize all colors and randomize all SFFs. And while you're done, just press generate seed. And you'll wait until your seed is done. So it'll finish quickly, you know. And there you go. While you're done making the seed, you go to browse and put in your 1.0 Ocarina of Time ROM. So I'm just going to do that real quick and search for it. File manager. Alright, let's see if I still get the 1.0 Ocarina of Time ROM. Um, I don't got the 1.0 ROM, but you need the Ocarina of Time 1.0 ROM. Whoops, and there we go. There you go. 
All right, so you need the 1.0 ROM. And while you're done with that, you just press patch ROM. And yeah, I'm not gonna do it because I get errors on my phone. You need, you need like a more modern and better one with a lot, like a lot of space and two gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, this is just an example. Uh, if you want this seed, just I don't know if I could like give the seed just an example. But anyways, that's how you make the your own seeds. It's not big of a deal. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm not good at explaining stuff, so sorry about that. But anyways, if you need any help, let me know in the comments. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.